Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International 10 All-Star Match! I am Sir Action Slex. Thank you, thank you so much. And I'm here with Sumi. Hello. Wonderful intro. Thank you, Sumi. Wait, did you want me to intro myself? Well, yes, please. Ah, uh, yes, I am Sumi. Thank you very much. All right, back to Jake. Fantastic. Today we have a match that you will remember for approximately the 30 minutes that it takes to complete it. It <laughs> will be English talent versus the Russian talent, a.k.a. Team Thunderhide versus Team Dragon. Yes. Jake, so what is this game match? Because we have at TI10, we have been witnessing some captain's mode, yes. but it's a little bit different for this. Absolutely right? correct, Sumi. We're about to drop into all random death match. That is right. Only the biggest tryhards in this universe have the ability to play this game mode. Every single time that a person dies, their hero is thrown out of the game and they are replaced with a random hero. But Whoa. not only that, yes. they have the same items that they had when they died. Oh, that's right, Sumi. Agadum scepters, shards, blink daggers, dagons. If you're BSJ, probably literally nothing. <laughs> that is right, your carry skills, they go through. The items, they go through. The skill was never there to begin with. Oh my goodness, Jake, you are brutal. No, I just know the English talent very well. But uh, at any rate, Sumi, it should be one hell of a match. And I believe the time has come for our first team. Yes, let us bring Team Dragon to the stage. Team Dragon. Woo. Yeah, they'll come. I mean, uh, this is a good representation of what Team Dragon will play like. They made their logo in Microsoft Paint only 10 minutes ago. Absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Team Dragon supports each other both on and off panels. And I mean this literally, because they are literally four support players and a carry. Featuring Banana Slam Java, who beat EG in a qualifier once. Effie, who is incredibly talented at eating pizza while gaming. Cinderin, who can emulate the sound of a helicopter with his mouth. AUI 2000, former TI champion who also says he cannot read. And not last but not least, Insania, the highest earning player of all time, surpassing No Tail in Heroes of New Earth. All right, so Team Captain Insania, captain of multiple teams apparently, tell me, what are your expectations for this match? My expectations are very high. Um, before coming in here, we had a visualization practice uh, upstairs. So everybody's been thinking about last sitting for the last minute. Thank you. All right, he's saying thank you to the talent up there in the suite, carrying him on. They have been practicing last hitting in ARDM. All right, another question for you, sir. Are you able to do the helicopter sound with your mouth right now? I don't think I can do that with a mask on, unfortunately. The answer is no. Final question for you, BSJ. How do you keep it PMA, keep it BSJ? Uh, we're going to be clearing comms a lot. We're going to make sure we're all on the same page and when in doubt, we're just going to run down mid. They are just going to run down mid. Four support players and a carry running it down mid. Thank you very much, Team Dragon. Go ahead and step to the booth. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents. These guys are hard asses in more ways than one. Please welcome to the stage Team Thunderhead! <laughs> Here they come. Team Thunderhide, a team of literally all ex-players versus people that couldn't win a game even if they were being paid to. We have Havos, Dendi, Resolution, Smile, and Solo. Give it up for you boys coming back. My goodness gracious. Look at team. this confidence as they walk on down to the stage. Yes, clap for this team. You can feel. You, you can feel the TI swagger coming off these boys. Sir, have you prepared in literally any way for this match? 
we have pretty good motivation uh, speech. You're gonna listen to it like a bit further. Yeah, but so we are finally prepared. It's our last chance to become famous, you know. Team Borsch! All right, Dendi, it's your last chance to become famous. No one's ever heard of you before. How do you feel about this match? We're gonna destroy. Yes. Resolution, you are literally better than anyone on this stage right now. I used to be, yeah, but now we're all washed, so we're here. Playing. Very depressing. Thank you, Resolution. Hello. Please, only one word from both of you and say it at the same time. Dota is life. Dota is borscht. That is just not one word at all. All right. Well, they might not be good at following instructions, but they will now enter the booth. Gentlemen, Team Thunderhide, to your stations. Go, go, go. <laughs> Oh, All right. English has zero chance. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see. All right, Jake, you have to explain. So, Team Thunderhide, yes. made up of Russian caster talent, yes. they have five X pros. Uh -huh. However, Team English, yes. Team Dragon, they have one current player and one semi current player that you just kicked from your team. So, explain to me why, why you think that uh, Team Thunderhide will win. I uh, think Team Thunderhide will win because they can actually play the game. There was a reason we kicked Dowie 2000. He's literally horrible. Literally abysmal as a Dota player. He's literally insane. So, uh, yeah, that would be it. And then, uh, you know, Insania's Insania. Insania has proven that he is a multi-talented person, though. He can cast. He can panel. He can play the game. Not only that, but he's supported by some amazing players. That Why is true. You cannot look down on them, Jake. I think you owe them an apology. I don't owe anyone an apology. The only person I should apologize to are my parents for <laughs> the man I have become. It is truly a travesty to all that has happened in my life. Sue me. All random deathmatch, it is a mode that is extremely terrifying because you never know when your hero will be gone. Many will try to itemize according to their hero, hide out, and then never try to die. Do you think that this is a good strategy in the game mode? I don't know. It really depends on their ability to farm. And they and Team, team uh, Dragon did say that they were practicing their last hitting. So maybe they can get those items, hide, and not die, and hope that they, the other team dies before them. However, hmm. what happens if you were to get a hero that you don't want? Do you sacrifice that hero to try to get to a different one? Or do you just try to play it through? You know what, I think that if you get a hero you don't want, you might run down mid, but that is a very risky maneuver. Hmm. The number one hero in this game mode is Techies. Now I'm gonna say this right out, it is Techies. You can hide out, plant bombs for literally an hour and a half without ever <laughs> showing your face. However, if you do blast off committing a deny, your hero is swapped. He is one of the only heroes that can do that, so that is not the play. How does that work with the bombs, though? Do the bombs just disappear, or do they remain there? That's right. The bombs can remain never activated, a true testament to your own hubris in that hero, and I do hope that we do see it here today. Very interesting. Now, Jake, tell me, what is the best hero to get in this mode first? Oh, now this is a very complicated question. It's a little bit about luck. If you get yourself a carry early in all random deathmatch, it is not good. The luckier teams will get supports early and then get carries later because your items and experience do follow over. The worst hero you can get early is something pathetic, like an anti-mage or a drow ranger. These are not, actually after last game, maybe drow's pretty good, honestly, but uh, <laughs> what you want to do is pray to the Lord Gaben himself and Ice Frog to carry thou from the, the darkest pits of ARDM and deliver onto thee the Dota heroes. So does that mean that the meta is completely different in this game? It has a completely different meta. We won't see, 